Those pampered housemates have it easy compared to the I'm a Celeb campmates. In the jungle, Josie, yes, camp can turn into an old pressure cooker. <laughs> a bit of tiredness, the odd failed bean fritter. Things can happen, Jos, because <laughs> last series, Fred and Josie, there were more sparks between these two than the actual fire itself. Have a look at this. Hopefully this works. She's got no eggs, she's got no flour, nothing but beans and oil. The moment of truth, bean fritters. But I have stopped advising, I have stopped saying anything. I'm just, you know, going with the flow. Go on, Josie. <laughs> have fun. I don't think I can turn them. Um... I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> No, it's not working. It's not sticking. Oh, the no. fritters were a bad idea. Mission abort, mission abort. But you know what you can do? You can use the oil that you have there, put it in the beans, not all of it. No, but... I'm going to fry the whole lot of it. It'll still be like fried beans, but it's just not sticking together. Very quickly, obviously, she said, I'm aborting the mission. Yeah. Oh, well, the <laughs> sorry. See? Well, the I'm a celeb camp mate was was long, long away, and there's a, there's no beam fritters in sight we, today. Should, we should point in out you haven't watched. That's the first time you've seen any of this. First stuff. time I've seen any of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um, <laughs> instead, Fred's here uh, to share a family favourite. Um, you've got roast chicken soup and sweet corn on the menu, haven't you, Fred? Yes. What Why I didn't want... you do beam fritters? <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, I've been asked, but you know, it's not my favourite recipe. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a recipe which my dad called is the art of accommodating the leftovers, the art of uh, making your leftovers, you know, nice. So, you know, imagine, for example, you're on a Sunday night, right? You're having a roast chicken and on Monday you've got nothing to cook and you're thinking, what am I going to do? So this is a recipe that you're going to use with stuff that you've got in the cupboard, like, for example, uh, tin sweet corn, or if you want to take a bit more time, you can have fresh sweet corn. So, first of all, simple, you get your chicken and you make a stock out can of I, the... Can I just ask? You guys OK? We okay. love each other. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? Of course, Greg. Yeah. Just, okay. just to get that sorted. It's been yeah. really blown out yeah. proportion, hasn't it, Fred? Uh, it has. It has. It has. Bring it in. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. We love it. How many hugs have we had this morning, though? Oh, loads, yeah. I know. Number seven or eight. Yeah, because we've been through something a bit spectacular together, haven't we? It was a journey, wasn't it? I think that people can't understand what it means to be in the jungle unless you are in the jungle. Yeah. And the reason why it's called I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, because you really want to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I ever? Didn't it's I ever? Oh, I wish we had this in the jungle. Yeah, that would have been lovely. Soup, so, look, you, you've got a roast chicken. You know, it's very... I mean, most people would make... I mean, this is the way to make a stock, is to, to, to actually get some, some raw chicken and make the, the, the stock with it. But, you know, in, in terms of uh, uh, using your leftovers and making the most of your leftovers, there's a lot of flavour here. So what you have to do is just get the meat off the bone like that, put it inside uh, your, your pan with a bit of water, and then what you do is simply add a bit of onions like this, uh, a bit of thyme, a bit of bay leaves, uh, garlic, just like that, your carrots... Fred, you know when you've got a leftover carcass on a Sunday, mm -hmm. could you put that in this, or does it have to be raw? Yeah, this is, no, 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 you, you actually put the leftover carcass. OK, all oh, right, OK. This is about using the leftovers and making the most of right, your leftovers. I see. OK, yeah. Right. You know, it's what we used Miss, to do in the jungle, yeah. you know, to, uh, God, to, save, we, to save on everything, that, right? Yeah, we made something go about four mils along, didn't we? Exactly that. Yeah. So then what you do, basically, you just bring that to the boil and cook it for two or three hours, yeah. um, and, and you've got your stock that's ready. So I'm going to put it here. Fred, do you remember when you dropped your stock? We won these OXO cubes and, and Fred accidentally dropped them in the fire. Can you remember that? Oh, no. I know. You know what? I was so embarrassed that I did that. I didn't want to say nothing. And then I thought to myself, no, I've got to come clean. I've got to say, I've got to admit <laughs> to my crime. Yeah. And I, and I desperately tried to get the, the cube out of the fire and I couldn't because they were totally carbonized. Can you imagine? And like, you know, an OXO cube is everything in there, isn't it? And I seen you do it and I thought, I And Tony was so there. upset. He was so upset. He was so upset. But the day he walked in on the on the food and we actually ate uh, the food that was under his foot, that was all right. Oh, yeah. It was so funny. He stepped um, in the food. I tell you something, you might be eating raw food in a minute if you don't crack on there, oh, sorry. Fred. Yeah, OK, so basically, on. you are making your, your, your stock and what you do after that, while you're cooking the stock and the stock is cooked, you add your sweet corn in the stock like that, cook them for 10, oh, 15 wow. minutes. Yeah, I yeah. If you don't have the time, what you can do is have a stock cube like that, in a bit of water, just water and a stock cube. You get some sweet corn in a tin, you drain it and you put it in there. And once it's finished to cook for about 10 minutes, very simply, you blitz it. Oh. You blitz it 
And here is one that I prepared earlier. And the corn thickens everything oh. up lovely, doesn't it? Oh, lovely. Lovely oh, sweet nice. corn soup. Now, if that you... Easy. If you do not have a carcass, maybe, and you just want to make it to elevate a little bit that recipe, you can get some chicken thighs like that, roast them with a bit of garlic and butter, and then you just chop it up. Oh, and then the lovely. next phase, very, very simple. Here, if I can find my plate. Right, lovely. I'm going to plate it. Cool, it's nice to have a nice meal together, isn't it, Fred? This is very simple. And you know, when I, when I was thinking about what recipe to cook, I was thinking about you, Josie, because this is a kind of recipe, this is fast food, essentially, yeah. right? But this is not, you know, fried chicken or, or a burger. This oh. is fast food because it takes 10 minutes to do. You come back from work, you want to do a, mm -hmm. a proper meal, you want to cook for your family, and you can either do it two ways, like I said to you, you make your own oh, stock. Oh, that is good. Or that is you really good. basically, simply uh, make a stock with stock cube, Thanks, Fred. And Fred, well, your, both your parents were nurses, so that's they, right. they worked shift work, so you had to kind of learn to cook a bit yourself, but there was always, always someone at home to help you out, right? Yes, I mean, I was always in the kitchen watching my parents cook, and my parents can cook the whole of the French repertoire. You know, they are incredible chefs. They used to cook a three-course meal every single day. Oh, brilliant. Um, so, um, if you like, this was my upbringing with, with, with food. Sorry, let me just... The chicken popped in there just really makes it look like a fancy old yeah. meal, doesn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Cool. A little oh, bit of creme fraiche. Yeah. And nice. I call this a recipe in three, because really there's three ingredients, right? It's a little bit of sweet corn, uh, a little bit of chicken and coriander, and it's just so simple and so easy to make. Um, um, Fred, you said you were working with Emma Willis on a, on a project at Netflix. What's, what's happening there? That's right. It's not on Netflix. It's on Amazon. It's, it's on called Amazon. The World Cook. OK. Uh, it's a cooking competition. It's, it's an incredible competition. And we go around the world to find the best chef in the world. The 16 chefs. Okay. It's like the Olympics of cooking. And you and Emma Willis? Me and Emma Willis. Nice. Fred, nailed it. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, great. There you are. Good mum. Well, we can't have a meal without a bit of red wine, I'm can so we? Pleased the world, I'm so pleased the world gets to see that you two are really close pals. You've been actually genuinely mm. behind the scenes chatting, laughing, hugging. It's good to see. It's good to everyone see that, you know, because uh, jungle's a pressurised place. Cheers. Good to Cheers. have you back in place. Cheers. Merci beaucoup. Merci yeah, yeah. beaucoup. Mm -hmm. Oh, there lovely. Nice. Cheers. Mm. Oh, gorgeous. That is mm. a good wine, Fred. Good, good soup, Fred. good wine. Well done. Good company. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, for details of Fred's recipe, check out our free This Morning app.